shade A. It's a beautiful purple color. Freaking love that. Holy crap. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Kayla, The Clarification. I'm so excited to actually film this because I just went to the mail just now and in my mailbox was my Shayla by ColourPop collection. I was been supposed to get this actually, but because of Hurricane Florence, USPS, FedEx, all of them, they was just like, nah, we out. We're not delivering no mail. Y'all aren't getting nothing until today. Which I'm surprised about because today is Sunday. I didn't even know mail got delivered on Sunday. But anyway, so I just got it. And inside the packaging came this cute little card. Has Shayla's picture on it. And it's just um, the pictures from her promo for the collaboration for her birthday. And I thought it was really cute. I love the colors of it. And I love the colors that we're going to be reviewing today. So I'm going to do some swatches for you first, just so you can see what they look like. Okay, first up, season 10. Second, it's going to be Shade A. It's a beautiful purple color. Freaking love that. Holy crap. And the third shade. I actually did not get the shade Drippin'. I didn't get the three that comes in the Shayla by ColourPop collection. I saw the swatch, like I saw the the picture of Drippin' on the dark skin model and I was like, mm, I don't know how that's gonna work out for me. I'm gonna show you an example of what I'm talking about. But when I went back and looked at Neat Freak, I thought Neat Freak would actually look a lot better. Swatch of that. It's pretty much just meant to be like a topper. It's just like a shiny shade. And I honestly have never tried a shade like that before. I always thought it would just come up like really like clear and shiny and sticky on me. So I've never tried them, but we're gonna get into all that today. Now, if you are gonna do it like me and get the three shades individually, this shade is gonna run you, I think, $6 or $6.50. Um, they're all like six dollars, six fifty. They're all the same price, actually. I'm gonna leave the link down below in the description box. So I'm gonna start off the swatches by doing Neat Freak for you, okay? So I really just wanted to see whether or not this lipstick would be good enough for me to just throw on if I'm being lazy and go to Walmart. And the true test is how much coverage does this lip gloss have? Because I have hyperpigmentation on my lips like there's like a dark line and I want to know whether or not this is good enough by itself so I definitely am liking it I'm not used to something so shiny I'm not used to clear opaqueness but I think they look real kissable or whatever you know I think mm. You know, I think it's like a little sophisticated shine or whatever. <laughs> I think so. I think I'm feeling it. Leave me a comment below on which one that you like. Tell me if you actually like this or which shade that I do today is your favorite because I want to know. So next up, we're going to do Shade Day. Um, it's the beautiful purple um, that Shayla has been spotted wearing on Instagram and everywhere lately because it's like her favorite color. So I'm excited to see what this looks like. Okay. So my first impressions is that it actually goes on a lot smoother than all of the other ColourPop lips. Look at those looks. Look at me getting outside the lines. Mm -mm. <laughs> okay, so I like this shade, however, this is like a little bit bright for me like normally I would not gravitate to a purple that is this bright and based on how it looks on her like it looks a little bit darker on her but I guess that's to be expected because she's of a lighter skin tone or skin complexion than me so I guess I would say if you're darker than my complexion and just for foundation and shade reference I'm Fenty Beauty 430 um, and Lancome 520 suede in the 10 Edole. if this to you looks a little bit bright on me then it's probably gonna look a little bit brighter on you so that's something that you may want to be cautious of but I would say if you're lighter than me it would probably come out as that true like kind of like deep and mysterious purple that it looks like on Shayla for me like I really thought that this was going to be my favorite however I don't know like it looks good on my skin tone I just don't know if it's 
for me to be wearing all out all the time. I don't even know. All right, so my last and final color is going to be season 10. I'm actually super excited about this color. I love blue-based reds, and if I do wear like a bright color on my lips out and about, it usually is a red lipstick. So let's see. Y'all, I don't know what it is about this color, but it glides on like butter. Like seriously, glides on like freaking butter. Like I can't believe it's not butter. It feels like more comfortable than the purple for sure. I don't know why that is. Like I don't know if like, because it's a different color, maybe they like formulate it differently. I'm sure that's what it is, but this, holy crap. So she named it season 10 because you know like how like the first couple seasons of like Real Housewives of Atlanta or like Love and Hip Hop or whatever, they look like they don't really know what they're doing with their hair and their face and their makeup. But by season 10, they got it all together. They be slaying just to go to the freaking mailbox, y'all. They be walking their dog and looking like a whole snack. So I guess that's the point of season 10. And I actually love the shade. Look at this, like this is my favorite. Like if I had to say go out, or not go out, because you can't go out. Go online and buy a shade from ColourPop like today, it would be this. And I mean, for $6, $6.50, like you cannot beat this. There are shades that look exactly like this that are less comfortable that cost $20 if you go to Sephora or Ulta. So I definitely think that it is worth the buy. So overall, I do like the collection. It is something that I would recommend this looks like I'm season 10 ready. If I had my eyeshadow on, if I had my contour popping, my highlight popping, I ain't got none of that today, y'all, because I mean, ain't nothing going on. But I just wanted to show y'all exactly how these shades were looking. I was so excited to get them in the mail um, since I got them late. So please leave me a comment and tell me which one is your favorite, which one you're dying to pick up. Give this video a thumbs up, share, and please subscribe while you're at it. And stay tuned for my next video, okay? Thank you guys for watching. Bye.